Chevrolet convertible, and you had yeah. like every year. Yeah, every year. Then now I bought an Oldsmobile, then a Buick. Every year. You don't do that anymore, though, do no, you? No, no, no. I've got a Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> Best car I've ever owned. Yes, yeah, so, so Volkswagen Beetle is what you drive now, and that's pretty good on the mileage, right? Oh, yeah. It gets about 32 on the road and about 28 in town. What Jimmy's did, on the phone. What did the Bel Air convertible uh, get? Oh, gee whiz. That's 1957, so I'm trying to think back. I think it got 16. 16? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it even got that. Well, it could it's be. It's still good. Now, a couple of stories here. You're in stories. Then we got to get to Jimmy Mack and let you uh, see if you can pick uh, some more than uh, I just hope the... I do better than him. How many did you get last week? Nine. Okay, so Richard Simmons, listen to this. Okay. He got run over by a wheel of misfortune. He got kind of flat-footed by a driver. He was outside of his Hollywood Hills home uh, chatting with passengers from a tour bus, and then there was this passing motorist that uh, squarely ran over his foot. Wow, Just gee, that must by. have hurt. Yeah, the driver stops his car, walks over to uh, to uh, Richard Simmons, who looks pained and apologizes. And apparently, TMZ is reporting that uh, uh, the uh, the fitness uh, guru Richard Simmons is currently at the hospital, getting injuries checked out, but he's going to be fine. Oh well, of course he's going to be fine. <laughs> Nothing ever evil happens to Richard Simmons. No, and then Charlie Sheen has been dragged into a, a lawsuit. Really? Yes. What's that about? This is uh, his former uh, mother-in-law uh, filed a lawsuit over the purchase of Charlie's house. Uh, according to the legal documents, Charlie's being subpoenaed, and he's going to be testifying in a lawsuit filed by Brooke Mueller's mom, Maura Fiore, who claims she was screwed out of her commission by Charlie's real estate agent. Wow, that's going to be brutal. Says she lost some cash on this. <laughs> now, the twist is Charlie will not be subpoenaed, uh, not by Mora, but by the real estate agent, Marty Trugman, because uh, the mother, Mora, claims that Charlie gave her authority to find a house, and she tapped Marty as the agent when he promised to give her 25% of his commission. That agent didn't ante up, and so uh, TMZ said he promised her zilch, and so this is where the big lawsuit is. Oh, well, is. this is too difficult for me to fathom. Are you following that? No. Okay, Jessica Simpson has gotten an expanded role. Oh, that's good. With Weight Watchers. Really? Yeah. Congratulations. There they was a rumor out saying she was going to be dumped because she's pregnant again, but the company is actually expanding her role in uh, talking about their diet plan, mm -hmm. even though she's uh, kind of taken a, a hiatus from the diet routine. She's pregnant right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, but uh, Weight Watchers has announced it will continue to run the ads uh, touting her 50-pound loss. Wow. Good for her. Is it time for the picks yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm into it this week. Finally, Ryan Seacrest is oh, going to be boy. hosting he's, the... Uh, he's so my buddy. You'll find some evil words by Bob Eubanks against uh, oh, Seacrest really? in the opening of the uh, forward. Wow, yeah. So because, uh, well, Seacrest, people seem to love him, and apparently Dick Clark thought he was great. And so now that Dick Clark passed away this last year, Ryan Seacrest is going to be hosting the countdown for 2013 all by himself. Wow, gee, congratulations gonna, to Seacrest. Going to be... Uh, Honoring his friend and his mentor, Dick Clark. He was also friends uh, with um, uh, Merv Griffin. Yes, I that's could, good. I almost, ooh, I, ooh, I, couldn't, ah, I couldn't remember. Ooh, his name, ooh, Merv Griffin. <laughs> couldn't remember. I met Merv Griffin. Merv was a great guy. I loved that guy. He, was in, he had that hotel in, uh, in Beverly Hills, and I did a TV show there, and he came up to it. He owned the hotel, mm -hmm. and it was the... I don't know, the 900th anniversary of the uh, history of uh, the uh, birth of Moscow, and they were shooting this thing to Moscow on this show, and the President Clinton's uh, brother, Roger, was performing. It's kind of caliber of acts I worked I thought on. his name was Billy. Billy no, Bear. that was Billy Carter. That was Carter. Oh, that's right. This was right. Roger was for Clinton. <laughs> oh, thank And so you. there's a cake they cut. Oh. And uh, Merv comes out, and he grabbed some of the icing, mm -hmm. and then he wiped it on the tablecloth, and he looked up and saw that I was looking at him, and he goes, I think I'm okay. I know the owner. <laughs> Very good. It was good. He yeah. was a good guy. So anyway, so Ryan Seacrest is uh, he's going to honor Dick Clark. Uh, when and he's he, going to be on New Year's Eve then. Yes. Coast to coast. Yeah, so he's going to be coast to coast. And wow. Seacrest says he misses him. But I'm excited about New Year's. Sure he, he is. is. He's getting the dough this he's time, getting, big time. That gets a lot of bucks. No oh, sleep. Yeah, of course. Got to have sleep. Okay, now we're almost getting ready to. Uh, do you Is have any time for do you, the? Do you have yet? any other stories for us, Dave? Do you have a story you want Not to tell? Not really. Us? I I've storied out. I want to do my picks. Okay, we're getting to the picks. And okay. 
Finally, uh, for the sixth consecutive year, CNN is countering Ryan Seacrest oh. with their New Year's Eve coverage. And they think, you know, Fox has got uh, Megyn Kelly and uh, what's his, Bill Hemmer. That's a good-looking They're couple. They're good. They're they are good. very good. Yes. And CNN, you know, wants to really beat Seacrest, Never beat happened. Bill Hemmer and Megyn Kelly. Never. So they've got some great live coverage with oh. Anderson Cooper and Kathy Griffin. Oh, that's big. <laughs> Apparently, apparently, they only got nine, too. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Is that something? <laughs> well, they're not going to beat Hammer. And what is that good-looking girl's name? Kathy Griffin? No, 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 no. She's not good-looking at all. The one that works with Hammer on Fox. Oh, Megan Kelly. Oh, She's yes. very good-looking. They have good-looking women there, you Yes, know. they do at Fox News. That's uh, Well, I tune in for the news. Well, of course you do. Uh, by the way, I, uh, Britney Spears, apparently they're going to maybe cancel her contract with the X Factor. Simon Cowell said he wanted the bad Britney, not the good one. So I don't ah. think she's going to be back on X Factor. Really? Yeah, and he's got, uh, he's crying. 20,000 reasons, they say, to cry over the X Factor results show uh, because he uh, he made uh, L.A. Reid the, was the guy that won. Simon well, maybe and, we ought to harden up. We should. Maybe yeah. you and I should go on the show. Sure, we should. They want evidently harder people. Simon Cowell and L.A. Reid made a wager at the beginning of the season that if either judge had a contestant win the whole shebang, the losing judge would cough up 20 thou. Wow, I don't want to be there for that. So Simon's got to pay L.A. Reid 20 thou. I wouldn't make such a wager here, but I might bet you two bucks to see who's the best handicapper next week. Boy, that's more money than I made at WOAD in Dayton. And finally, Matt Lauer is uh, wasn't the one that got the boot, but his image suffered when Ann Curry left. Uh, you know the Today Show. Mm-hmm. He got twenty five million a year, and she didn't get anything. So now they they say Matt's image is so tainted that NBC has begged him to mit- take a public lunch with Ann Curry, and he's wow. going to do that. Good for them. I think they're going to eat the Carnegie Deli <laughs> roast beef. Hi, this is Larry Minetti. 